welcome everyone for the February 12th, 2024 Rochester Select Board meeting, which has been posted in three public places, right? Yes. Yep, and on the website and emailed to interested parties. So we meet the open law requirements. And we're going to start with the minutes from the uh, prior meeting of January the 22nd. And I um, read through those. I found one um, modification in the, um, the conversation about the declaration of inclusion. Um, at one point, um, it says that I said the caution will be create more paperwork. And I said uh, it should say I expressed concern that there, this will create more paperwork. So just to make that. Um, clear to people in the future that decide to read these minutes. So um, with that one correction, I'd move to approve. Second. All in favor? All right. All right. Okay. That one. And we also have the um, minutes of the emergency select board meeting of 126, where we clarified the um, numbers for the, the budget. And I would move to approve those minutes. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. All right. And we have, um, so start off with the guest, Jan. You're on the, on the list here. What's up? So I want to find out what's going on with the generator at school. I went down. It was making alarm sounds, and the secretary told me it had been doing it, and somebody came, and that the select board knew about it. Is it going to get fixed, or is it going to get replaced, we've, or is We've it called the guy, and I don't know if he's come or not. I don't I know that he's come yet either. I've left him one message and, I've, and, and he, an email since I called He called me, and I called him back. He said um, that he would call me right back, and he never did, so... Is this the guy from Northfield? No. Is that no. who you have the Bushy? contracts with everybody Bushy. else? Bushy. No, it's that Bushy. Ben, Bushy. Ben Bushy. Okay. And I've walked, I've been inside there, and look, there's, I don't see anything that's on that's making it do that, but there's just an alarm sensor on. I'm not sure what it does. I've relayed that to Mr. Bushy, but I haven't seen. Okay, or so it's from. not an impending doom. Thing. No, and as far as not yet, anyway. Not yet, yeah. Go, There's always impending. <laughs> yeah. As far as going in and out of that fence there, that's it's really not needed to get in and out of there very often. Only for right. maintenance, really. It's right. It's nothing to do with the daily operation of the thing. Right. And so I'll I'll get try to get back in touch with him and see if he come and take care of it. I, I tried to get him to call me just to see if there was something I could do to try to eliminate it. It's do not, we know if it's been exercising itself? I couldn't tell you for yeah. sure. I don't know when it yeah. exercises. No, no that, Wednesdays? So. It's, it's every, every week? Yeah, it yeah, is it's once, once a week. week. And you said yeah. that, once a week. that seemed to but. be okay, but the alarm, I thought he said it was when he, he Main, did when he was there last he said that it didn't seem like there was anything wrong that if it made noise again to let him know and he would come in and take a look at it again yeah but that's all it is but he it's turned it off like, the first time yeah so. I don't know I I tried to get him to tell me how to turn it off so yeah. I would I could go down and do it yeah there was a reset button or something that yeah <laughs> that something easy Better. to push and it's not that we're out of fuel no no okay so, hey, Leslie. so, so so nobody looked at it to see that something is wrong. Is that what you're saying? No, somebody he, did. He's, no, he did. Yes. he's been there before, and it, but the alarm came back on. Since he's, he's been there. Like, since he'd been there. Yeah, okay. It just so we don't know why that's happening. No. Um, so um, I just want to, because, you know, if you get a re repair bill, um, yeah. we got a grant for that. And the real beneficiary is the school. The school can operate right. with, when the power's out. Mm -hmm. So the shelter is just an auxiliary, right? right? I right. mean, it's not there for the shelter. It's there, you know, well, to keep the school Well, it's the school and the shelter, <laughs> yeah. basically. Yeah. So we've probably never asked them if they'd be help pay a bill. 
if it needs, <laughs> so uh, if, if you get a it's, bill, <laughs> can you ask them <laughs> if they're interested in joining with you? <laughs> It's an interesting we, idea. We yeah. can we can discuss it with them. I'm sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I I think that we're looking into currently we're looking into having all the generators serviced by one guy, mm -hmm. so that we do it all in one bunch. Because there's sense. five now. Yeah. Right. We have five and that we deal they with. They only make so. one trip out to service them all one day. Right. So we could better than five trips. Because the current superintendent is really great to work with. What's that? Very, the current superintendent is oh. great. Oh, yeah. Jamie is great yeah. to work with. Yeah. Favorable yeah. about both the buildings and. Um, right. So I would approach him if you need to. I would like to know um, when its weekly cycle is. I thought it was Wednesdays, Wednesday morning. At That's 10 what I understood, something like that, yeah. You know, It'd be I'm, easy enough I'm to be the there and check. I'm on the road all the time, yeah. so I could zip in and listen to it running, going, yeah, it's okay. Yeah. It's going. I've never heard I, it exercise. I don't know that I'd say that. I'd do heard it this week, one out here. Yeah, ours is Friday at 9. <laughs> yeah, I've heard For this sure. one. Yeah. So the time changes. <laughs> then, then you... Yeah. <laughs> the clock Until the changes. time changes, right. right. Um, then Martha see. has something on Yeah, there. Martha? This has to do with, uh, with uh, the gym and everything, I guess. Um, you know, I live right up the hill from the school, and um, at night I often see the lights on in the gym. Like, I'm up and down all night long because I have trouble sleeping. I'll see it on at 1230, 1.30, 3 o'clock in the morning. You know, I mean, it'll go back off again. But is there a reason? Is it on some sort of a thing where it, it just goes on for a while and then goes off again? You know, the lights for the gym? Mm -hmm. Um, don't know building. about that, no. <laughs> it's not our building. So. They're automatic. If you walk by, if you walk and somebody walks in there, it, they come on mm -hmm. and right. go off automatically. But, but I mean, you know, like at 12.30 or 1 o'clock in the morning, you wouldn't think anybody would be in the school. Right. Um, I don't know. I just see, I see it on and, and it's been happening for at least a month or two, you know. And I just thought I'd mention it sometime because, you know. That's, yeah. That's yeah. Jesse Potter. Yeah, you might. Maybe you should say something to someone at school. It might uh, be when who, they who at school? To the the one I know trainer. at school is Erica in the office. I should mention it to her, or who should I call? It, yeah, I'd you call could work with her. Also, yeah. Jesse Potter. Okay. Oh, Jesse Potter. She does maintenance. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. Sorry. I just um. I thought I'd bring that up since you were talking about the shelter in the that's in the gym, um, but it just makes me wonder because, you know, it it, yeah. it didn't used to go on a lot during the night. They have an outside cleaning service that comes in and does their cleaning, and I don't know that, what his time frame is and mm -hmm. whether he, he might be doing it late at night. Who knows? Yeah, I but not at like one in the morning or something. Could, could very be. well be he didn't have a lot of help yeah. and he's got several places to do. So oh, okay. He well, could be on a different maybe schedule. Yeah. Maybe it's yeah. nothing I should worry about. <laughs> okay, sorry. No, Tell that's all right. You Thank you. So um was that the it's and the recycling question as well i, I came yeah. in and i asked and read the contract i know you're going to renew the contract but so i was here doing my recycling and somebody from town came up with a a big screen tv mm -hmm. right and they said we don't recycle those it's trash so they charged him for trash, and he put it in, and I grabbed his arm, and I said, no, that you're supposed to recycle those. That's not supposed to go in the trash. It's a law. Yeah, it's a different kind of recycling than there's a single stream recycling. Yeah. That's right. electronics. So yeah. they said, no, we don't take that. We take paper, cardboard, plastic, and metal. That's it. So they put it in the trash, and they ground it up. It gets... It, um, she spoke with A and R. A and R reached out to her because you addressed it. Yeah. And she um, she spoke with them and explained that she takes her trash over to I think I wrote it on there Hubbard's, mm -hmm. and Hubbard sorts it for the electronic parts and all of that it goes through a sorting system. Out of the and garbage they, truck. Yes. After they mush it up. It's all but it, it's all sorted. It's single stream. It's sing, yep. 
single and stream re recycling. And he wrote a letter saying that what she did, she didn't do anything wrong, wrong. and that she char she can charge because yep. it's a processing fee. It's a processing fee, so mm -hmm. it's not. Recycle recycle free, fee. not in the free. No, if you bring that TV to the transfer station, yeah, then it is. Then it's completely free, right. I believe. Right. But they have a processing fee because they're traveling with it. Right. Right. So I don't know if you want to put something in the contract they're, to address they're, it. They're um, getting a bunch of flyers and brochures oh, that good. they'll so, be handing out. So some people in town know mm -hmm. yeah. how to deal with their stuff. Yeah. That was mine. Nancy, you have a question? There was always something in the town report until Royalton took over the uh, transfer station. And then the transfer station fell apart and mm -hmm. they had to get a new manager. And so I have a feeling that over the last two years, with material coming out of Royalton, it has been somewhat sketchy. And but she's very cautious about what she takes. Mm -hmm. And she, I guess the law now says they can start charging for recycling too. Yes. Charging us or the town or both? I mean, you pay, doesn't the town Well, the pay? town, they are charging we, the town to. Right. Yeah. That's what we pay. That's what the, what's in the town report. That's right. what we pay for recycling is, mm -hmm. is. 20,000 or whatever. Can they charge us separately too? If yes. They, they can start charging for people that they pick up trash and recycling for. Huh. So not here not, in the town here, office, but, but yeah. when they're picking it up along their route. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. different. Yeah. And I just had a couple of other things. Do we have an AED here at the town office? An IED? AED. No, AED. no we AED, do not. No. So there's grants out to buy them. Do they have one at Pierce Hall? Does anybody know? Do you know, Nance? I don't know. I, I know there's they, one at school. I think they do for the gym. They probably do at the gym. Okay. So if you somebody wants to get one for the town office, I have the grant information. You feel like filling it out? Yeah. We, we discussed that with the fire department, didn't we? Talk to you about that. Yeah, we got one. It's at the you, school. You've got one at the yeah, firehouse. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. And we have one, which you should know, at the shelter. Right. Yeah. So. I don't know if the school has one on hand or not. Yeah. I would they think they would. Do. Yeah. Yeah, they do. It's right by the front door. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Martha has something to add. Um, excuse me, uh, refresh my memory. I can't remember exactly what AED stands for. I apologize. It's a de defibrillator. It's to shock your heart when and when you do CPR. So a defibrillator to use doing while doing C CPR. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's an automatic All right. Thank external you. External device or something like that. Yeah, yeah I don't know what that what it stands for. But. Bring back the dead. Yeah. yeah. Automated external defibrillator. Yeah. Automated external defibrillator. All right. <clears throat> it puts out a pretty good jolt. Yeah. That's all I can tell you. Oh, yeah. You've experienced that. <laughs> Having been through it a few times. Yeah. <laughs> and plus, we always were trained on it anyway with the mm. down at, uh, Green Mountain Power. Once a year, we had training on it. We carried them all in the trucks. Yeah. So if we did get one here, you'd know um, how to use it when people have a heart attack yeah. and they hear what you the budget's going to be. You can get old. They talk you right through it. On <laughs> yeah. The, uh, you know, it tells yeah. It tells you right through it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. pretty, yeah. pretty self-explanatory, yeah. really. Cool. It's not hard, but you got to have access to it. That's Clear? Yeah. 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 Everybody you know, get, get away. <laughs> So you have the paperwork for the grant? On my computer at home, yeah. It's yeah. just a form to fill out. You can get grant money for it. They're super expensive, but I think you should have one. Town office is open all the time. So are you going to do it, or do you want to sign it? To, do you want me can, to do it? I can start it. We need to work. I need somebody to do it with me. You want to do it with me? Sure. Okay. Great. That's a good idea. 
Um, we also got naloxone training and a supply of naloxone at the shelter team closet. And All right. A good idea to have that on hand too. So would that be considered recycling your your lifespan if you use that thing? It kind of goes together with the shelter team and the recycling. Could be. <laughs> now you're going to have to pay a recycling fee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. A lot more expensive. Though. Well, thank you guys. I appreciate you um, working on that. That's a good idea. It's always always room for improvement, right? Is it naprox? What's it called? Naloxone. Do you have it here? In that I don't town? think we have that here, do we? No. It's for people that have drug overdose. Yeah. You can reverse it. It's just a reversal drug. Yep. That would be, um, I'm sure that they rescue the property yeah, that fast Yeah, but you need probably two doses of it, and you have to do it right away. By the time 20 minutes goes by, it's too yeah. late. Yeah. So. I think a lot of those people carry with them now, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, you free. can. You can just get it anywhere. Yeah. Right. It's yeah. really, it's free, and you can go to the drugstore and get it without a prescription, too. Yeah. They just carry it with them. Yeah. Might as well. But you just in case. It, you can't really give it to yourself. <laughs> yeah, I know. Hopefully, but. you got somebody with you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to be serious, guys. Okay. <laughs> You're making me laugh. Not well, it's not, it isn't yeah. funny, but one more yeah. question for Julia. Do you, do you have free COVID tests here for residents? No, uh, right. some had town some. offices do. We had um, we had a box of them. <laughs> yeah, they came over on the Mayflower. Yeah. No, I don't yeah, think they, they do go out of date. Them, so. well, yeah. Yeah. Have but you can you can extend those expiration yes. dates. They're just April Fool dates. You can choose yeah. whatever date you want. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> they have they, the the feds actually extended them two or three years but you have to go online and look up the number mm -hmm. but um, you can get them I, I uh, what's her name Maya new root mm -hmm. the librarian uh, was gonna get them library of things I told her she, <laughs> I told her they were if she, libraries in the state can get them and she was supposed to contact the state and, and get them but you know you, you guys can get them too mm -hmm. You want to have some available for folks, but I don't know if anybody would come here looking for one. Do they? I hope that they would Hopefully. come in here. Yeah. We'll call the firemen. We'll call the firemen. Yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah. Yeah. Call the firemen. Yeah. Call the firemen. Give them COVID. Oh, <laughs> I need a COVID. Fire taxi. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, well, thank you, girls. Yeah. Um, so, MTAP. Sydney's on. Everything's on initial. Yep. <laughs> Sydney, you're on Zoom here? I am. Can you hear me? We can. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Or being yeah, here. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, I wanted to check in. Uh, I know during our call, I had a couple calls with you guys. Um, we didn't have a set, you know, something that fit really well with the MTAP program guidelines and with, you know, what town priorities were. Um, we did look up grants for the retaining wall uh, at the town office. We weren't able to find yeah. anything that would work for that. Um, and I know you guys really wanted to make the most of this opportunity. Um, yeah. So I know you did have you do have a capital budget. Does that need updated? I'm just gonna maybe run through a list of things and see if any of them spark your interest. If that's okay, or if yeah, you have another. Yeah. Oh no, that's that's our capital fine. Capital budget is updated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did we work on that last year? It's not updated. No, we started. We, started yeah. we never got finished it off because we just got too too many things going on. Yeah, the the problem we have with the capital budget is that's uh, the first place we raid with trying to keep the budget down you know it's nice to mm -hmm. to have a list saying we should um put money away for this or that but it's uh, been hard to um to keep to that yeah it's it's, mm -hmm. it's unrealistic yeah yeah so maybe um <laughs> okay your your um 
help in advising us on how to maybe come up with a more realistic capital budget would be helpful. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Um, I've got that down as interest. Is that fairly serious interest? Because we've got a couple towns that are doing those. Um, so we could do a pretty quick turnaround if that was something you were interested in doing and looking at, you know, the draft agreement for to see what the scope would look like and, you know, edit it back and forth to to tailor it. Well, let's let's hear um, if we have to pick and choose between options. What are the other options that you've got? What's on the menu? Yeah. Yeah. yeah let's tell us the menu. I do have a little menu. Yeah. <laughs> um, do you have, I know you have playing fields. Are those in any need of work? Uh, not really that much. That is very. It's not really a priority. We don't have a high school. Mm -hmm. The only thing we got coming up is the skate space. Skate space that that, that may re work. that's going to require some. Uh, that we're looking at putting that out this spring. They've raised quite a bit of capital for it. I believe somewhere mm -hmm. around eighty thousand. I believe. But they're still looking for more. And they're still that... thinking another twenty. He's thinking that it'll be over another 20. They've cut the size down, and they're going with cement. So is that would that qualify as an athletic field, place where people go and skate? This, these are just, I'm just trying to get ideas of what you might have that could be MTAP eligible. So, like, if I could get more information on that skate space, I could tell you whether that's MTAP or not, mm -hmm. um, and whether there yeah. might be grants out there to help. But that sounds like a really big project, so I'd love if we could help with that. They, yeah, they do. They do already have some grants, but I don't know exactly what mm -hmm. they are. Okay. And I'd love to to see what those are to see if we can help with that, some of the admin of those grants or application with anything else. Well, there's one from the town. There's one from the superintendent. There's one from the state. Is it ANR, or Department of Parks, or something like that? Mm -hmm. We got a big one from them. Um, we got two grants from two Found banks. Mm -hmm. A lot of public foundations, public. private yeah. foundations. They, they oh. haven't. Wow. They haven't got the school's money yet. Yeah, he said that they were still working on that. Yeah, like so what about that. what about Norm and recreation and the playing fields? Right. I Norm and I and Dean have been doing this writing these grants. Yeah. Since last year. Right. All right. Well, that's. So what that, about, oh, sorry. No, no. Go ahead. Um, what's being done specifically at the um, skate space? It basically needs to be um, rebuilt. Totally rebuilt. Uh, the site needs to be um, leveled and proper drainage put in, and then then. Um, Re repaved and it's not um it's not holding water it's not level anymore and it's um mm -hmm. you know it needs a rework okay great and thank it, you as well as the skate space it also is um um in summertime used as um people play basketball on there and um skateboarding, skateboarding. yeah and you just signed an agreement with the school for them to use it after school too. Right, right. after school programs and they're because you know, they're also applying for a grant um, yeah. towards it. Yeah. Yeah. So that would be um, what else you got on the menu? <laughs> um, let me check those off. Uh, do you have a town forest or town trail system? We we have a town forest. Um, mm -hmm. Have um, I don't know if it's really a town trail system. We we have um, the ridge line trails um, wander through town yeah, quite a bit. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, are those in pretty good repair? Pretty good signage. They're yeah. They're not not bad. Okay. Sidewalks? Sidewalks, yeah. How about sidewalks? Um, if I remember our prior conversation right, that was repaving of existing sidewalks, or was that a new... Yeah, repaving of existing either or. Is and, right? and, yeah, either or. Yeah. Okay. That, I'm where, maybe? 
is the next question in like your kind of core area or kind of spreading um, out? Oh, yeah, in, yeah in, the the, in, in the village, yes. Okay. Yeah. So I that is something I can help with on MTAP. And I'm going to connect you to Rita Cito, who's our transportation planner. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad. She's awesome. Um, 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 she is awesome. We currently are in a, a, have received a grant for one section of our town under the Safe Routes to Schools grant. Mm -hmm. um, okay. But um, that is really just the, a, the tip of the iceberg on what we would right. like to do with our sidewalks. Mm -hmm. And I would like to see even an extension of our sidewalks from the school to Kennedy Drive. That's pipe dream, but I can dream. Yeah. What about cemeteries? I cannot help with cemeteries, unfortunately. That is a huge need, and that's something that's come up in other towns too, but it's yeah. not covered by MTAP, unfortunately. But we do know it's an issue, and we have our eyes out. There just aren't really, that we've seen, grants that we've come across for, for that. Um... Do you have kind of in the transportation route, do you have any culverts that keep blowing out with big rainstorms or that you anticipate will have damage <laughs> from snow melt? We're presently looking at one that we're working with FEMA on, but they're requesting a, right. an eight footer um, to be half filled with gravel, which is like a, a 20 or I think it's. I think he told me is around twenty thousand just for the pipe, um, and but it's going to cause us to have an, have to put in another one <laughs> just below it because it dumps into a another spot. So I'm not too sure what we're going to do. We're trying to get it cut down to a four foot, but because they discovered trout on both sides of the pipe, that's they have to we have to make it an eight footer and i don't know whether we can get white river partnership to to help us with that or if there's any grant money out there besides fema because fema is only... that north hollow road yes okay yeah. you heard of it you it's it's what we lost in fema i think the girls here in the office have worked on a grant for that and they're mm -hmm. pretty happy with having to go through that process Mm -hmm. I'm being facetious there. But. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's really the big one. We do have another bridge that we might have to look at shortly. Um, and we're not real positive what we're going to have to do there yet. And there's always other culverts that need to be replaced, but we've been trying to keep up with them as best we can and our road crew I take my hat off to them they do a pretty decent job with it so I'm happy mm -hmm. with what they do so that's good I'll keep my eyes out for and I'll, I'll talk to Rita about North Hollow Road and that culvert that's going to need to go in below it and see what we can scrounge up yeah cool. um, that'd be great and and we are we are looking at a class two grant we applied for that i believe through rita also mm. for the okay. bethel mountain road for that upper section right yep but if we think of anything else we'll certainly call you first <laughs> yeah right <laughs> yeah sounds we'll be, good we'll be in touch um but the capital plan would be a really good good idea for us to do it's it's something that hasn't been done in probably 15 years. Um, mm -hmm. The scope, okay. it was last done by, by Two Rivers, too. Uh, oh, okay. It was quite a long time ago. Yeah. But I'm not sure the mm -hmm. date. Oh, geez, it must have been even before you get on the board. No, it? no. 15 years. Yeah, yeah. before Doom. Yeah. No, I remember working with Kevin. Kevin Geiger was here doing Kevin that. Kevin Geiger right? spent a lot of time with us. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's been quite a while since we've done it, and things have changed tremendously since then. Yeah, so yeah. we ran out of money. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And it sure put some lofty goals out there. That's for sure. Yes.
We'll try to keep it more realistic. I hear you on that. We'll tailor it better this time, it sounds like. Um, how much more time do I have? Because I've still got other stuff oh, you on the menu. Go, go, go for it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We're Keep open for your help. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Um, do you have any underutilized town buildings where you're like, what do we do with you know, old town hall or a, a meeting house or something. Um, or a high school. Or a high school. <laughs> I've heard of this project. <laughs> I'm not sure how MTAP could help with it, but um, I'd love to hear more about it from you guys because I've heard kind of Sarah, um, Sarah Rate at our office, but um, I haven't spoken to you guys about it. So what do you see for that building going forward maybe? <laughs> First, we have to determine whether we're going to acquire ownership of it or not. It still belongs right. to the school district. So. And so that's going up for a town vote that um, we thought we had a mm. date for that, but that has been put off again as um, we found, or the, um, the right. brownfield testing decided that they want to dig a little deeper where they found some arsenic in light of rules mm -hmm. changing. So um, that vote has been put off. And Nancy, you have something you want to add to that? I listened to the ORCA meeting from last week. And they're going to do, for their next meeting, they're going to do a, get, have a purchase and sale developed. Yeah, which they the will talk with the board about, and they're looking for, a, um, I think it's a July one twenty five closing date. Yeah, they want. But to it all that. depends they, on, they, they, all yeah. depends on what happens. They want to have that in hand just in case. I, I, I suggested not spending money on attorneys, but um, they they felt they wanted to lock in the particulars about the underground oil tank and a couple other issues that they had. So they wanted to make sure that was locked in with the board and the superintendent that's in place now, that it, it'll be in agreement next year, year I after. I think they want, to have, they want to have a first draft of it for their next March meeting. Fine. And then if, some, if we vote not to acquire the building, then it all goes away. <laughs> So. We, we do have a couple other structures that we, we the town does own that are kind of sitting there. We're unsure what to do. We basically use them for storage. There's the uh, old mill down by the town garage, which is right in the floodplain for one. And the other one is the old firehouse. And we also are looking at doing some energy efficiency work in our town office. And Jeff Gappard is working with on that. Um, plus, we're, he's put that up for the state to look at as one of the buildings along with our town garage to be looked at for some energy savings there that perhaps will help us down the road as far as tax. Uh, operations go as far as keeping the buildings open and keeping them updated mm -hmm. a little bit so but there's two buildings there that we don't utilize much at all we they're just storage one of them is is the old mill that's down by the the uh, uh, town garage which is basically falling apart and needs uh, a lot of work and I'm not sure what the best avenue is there I was looking at it over today a little bit and it really, mm -hmm. it really is in kind of tough shape, and and our old mm -hmm. firehouse is too, but it could be utilized better than what it is for it's a something. Concrete building. Yes, and it's a block building that it's going to require some maintenance down the road. Sinking. Well, the lower um, lower course of blocks is it's is rotting. is rotting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The whole foundation mm -hmm. is rotted. We dug it up years yeah. ago. Larry right. and I did. And you can shovel the block out with a shovel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's nothing left to it. Yeah. So we did, so everything well grades no good. Yeah. Right. Take it down and rebuild it. Sell it. Keep we need it. 
So that's that's a couple of things that that are out there. They're they're just I put them on the bottom of the list personally, but yeah, you know, okay. whatever we can or something. We can do whatever. What else you got? There. I have um I know during our call we talked about um housing very briefly and you have a housing committee, I believe. We do. Mm -hmm. Um any basically any work on housing would be MTAP eligible. So if you had like a town, sorry, if you had a town lot that you were wondering, you know, how many houses could it fit? It's, you know, four acres or something. Um, we could work with you to, to find a consultant who might be able to do a feasibility study to see what you could fit there. Um, it, it's going to depend on where you're at in that thought process, but um, I know housing's a, big issue for a lot of our town. So I want to bring it up and make sure we try and cover it. If there's something we can do with MTAP on that issue, it would be great. But it, it's also hard to spur the moment. <laughs> like surprise, mm -hmm. here's money to help with housing, come up with a project. Uh, we have a committee so. formed, don't mm -hmm. we? Yeah, we that do. It's yeah. looking into housing. So we have some activity people that are active in, in pursuing that. There's no town mm -hmm. property that's available. But yeah, your that. your help would be specifically to about Municipals. town property, right? Not private properties. Maybe that old uh, It's going to depend mm -hmm. kind of on what that project is. MTAP can't be used to build someone's private home, you know? All right. But if mm -hmm. the town wanted to work with a developer, you know, to encourage a developer to take a specific lot or something and, you know, pursue XYZ grant to help offset the cost of an affordable unit or a number of affordable units in a housing, in a, I don't know. Yeah. Then yeah. that would be MTAP. I, maybe more food for thought than immediate, like, oh, yeah, yeah. let's go for yeah. it. But Yeah, yeah. No, it's all good to know what else, what other avenues could you explore mm -hmm. um next on my list is any interest in community solar not necessarily um specifically mtap eligible but we've seen some interest from the agency of administration in pursuing those projects so if, if you've got in the back of your mind a solar project you've been itching to do for 10 years we have one in process right now, yeah. on Green Mountain Power, a resiliency mm -hmm. zone project. Oh, that's so cool. I heard about this. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. They're, it's all right. <laughs> they're putting in poles now, infrastructure-wise, and they're getting set to do the, the Green Mountain Power is getting set to do the work that they need to do to make it, uh, to move the project forward. Uh, mm -hmm. They're doing the the actual structuring as far as the uh, the grid is concerned, and then the uh, Norwich Solar, I believe, is mm -hmm. is doing the solar field, and that'll be their baby, I guess. And mm -hmm. Green Mountain Power will own the battery structure and all mm -hmm. that, so they'll be able to to uh, uh, give emergency power for the village in town and also uh they'll be able to shave peak when they need to do that um and that'll be how it works now that we all have generators That's awesome yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah it's a good it's a good it'll yeah. be a good deal for them we don't have any dollars and cents in it but yeah no, and which is good we don't need yeah. to have but yeah i yeah. if if something does happen with the school and we in the town does look to do something a solar project on that building would be extremely beneficial if that okay. was to happen but i'm not really mm -hmm. in tune with that all that much <laughs> to mm -hmm. be honest with you yeah it's yeah. kind of a big undertaking for our town i think but, yeah absolutely you know personally uh, yeah. is daycare of any interest a daycare um, practice, I guess, a daycare provider in a town-owned building, or if you have a space that's being used for community stuff, stuff. 
Well, that was uh, looking for daycare. That is or one, elder care. Daycare oh. and elder care are both um, part of the Concept. concepts floated for a possible um, repurposing of the high school building. Okay. Um, so they're kind of folded into to that project. So what? So like, what kind of MTAP? This basically can offer planning support and support in in um, searching out grants that would support these kind of projects. Is that is that right? That's right. So we see what eligible projects you guys are interested in, and then we help identify uh, funding opportunities for those, and then apply. And then if the town wants, then we would help manage if awarded. Yeah. And what's the um, what's the time frame? How long are we beneficiaries of this MTAP support? So the opportunity for support. So that's kind of why I was pushing the capital budget and program. We're not running low on money yet. This is a decent size little program. The initial allocation from the state was three million dollars, uh, about half of which went to RPCs to do this kind of work where we work with our towns to develop uh, agreements for certain projects. Um, but that's, it, it is basically a first come first serve program. So the assistance is out there until money runs out. It's not running out right now. So there's no huge rush, um, but things are starting to pick up uh, more. And I expect it'll pick up more after town meeting day. Also, once uh, any new select board members have been onboarded um, and towns aren't in the crunch of town meeting day planning. Um, but the program is set to end right now in April, 2025 with a likely extension into 2026, but that hasn't been announced or decided or anything yet. The goal of the program was to use up town and state ARPA funds or one of the goals of the program along with just general assistance to small towns. But Martha, I see you have a question. Yes, I'm sorry. What does MTAP stand for? I apologize. I don't know. It's the Municipal Technical Assistance Program. Technical Assistance Program. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Would there be any money towards our, our uh, restoration of our town parks? It's going to depend on what the work is. So if it's something that would be competitive, one of the elements of figuring out like what funding opportunities is, is it going to be competitive? So if it's going to be competitive for a grant program like VOREC, which is the Vermont, I have that tab open, um, Vermont Outdoor Recreation Economic Collaborative, uh, their grant program, then it's MTAP eligible. Um, if it's replacing two benches, or something that are very expensive benches, it's not because there's not really going to be a grant program for that. Um, but if it's got a grant that we could apply to, then it's very possible. I'm looking at more Just, more about sense. tree maintenance and stuff. We've got a we had due to this last spring's uh, freeze, we lost several trees on the park. Uh, I'm not sure. I think we're slated to cut seven down. Is that correct, Nancy? Seven that are on the chopping block. Um, we did secure a grant, um, but it's a pretty high... It's to purchase trees, basically. It's basically to purchase mm -hmm. new trees, but to remove the other trees, we're going to be looking at a, a fairly decent expense. I have... Uh, mentioned the work to the town crew to possibly get them on the ground and we'll hire have to hire somebody in to probably clean up because they'll be a pretty good mess but um, mm -hmm. i was just wondering if there was any money available for something like that i can look yeah um i don't know off the top of my head but i'm not a wealth of information when it comes to grants so i will check okay all right thank you uh, go back again to recreation mm -hmm. and the possibility of pickleball court mm. does that come up it hasn't come up with other towns yet um if there's a grant for it i think there's a case to be made uh mtap is 
supposed to generally be oriented toward projects that help with economic development. And there's a strong case to be made that if you have a really strong outdoor recreation or recreation culture in your town and you support that, you're going to get more recreation oriented businesses and more, you know, traffic from surrounding towns that don't have those amenities. So um, what's this, what's the interest in the pickleball court? It's, it's getting greater all the time. Yeah. <laughs> they, they've moved inside the school. For the oh, winter. Okay. in the winter time just because they just uh, play all year they're playing in the school it's probably why the lights are on at midnight we have active tennis <laughs> <sports laughs> one in the morning we <laughs> retrofitted for pickleball so then we've got the conflicting tennis players and the pickleball players so mm. we see is that need, we see the need for expansion yeah does that happen to be on the same site as the skating space no okay But it is on the town recreational field area. Yeah, it is on the town yep, rec field. It's on the field. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I'll keep that in mind because it sounds like, I don't know, from what I've seen online of Rochester, I haven't spent much time up there, but you're no, fairly recreation oriented. I should come up. Recreation yeah. oriented yeah. town there. It's fantastic. It's like pickleball. <laughs> well. <laughs> Bike on the trails <laughs> or ride a bike. Mm -hmm. Going back to trees, do you have any river banks or stream banks that need restoration? Yeah, this yeah, retaining wall. wall right outside of the, <laughs> the retaining wall. That, that was our <laughs> where we started with that. Yeah, that's what caused it, right? Was the stream. So, but you said you were not successful in finding anything that would help with that. If that is um, considered stream bank restoration, would that that shed more light on that? I don't think so for that particular project. What I've what I've maybe got more in mind is like rip wrapping or planting specific native plants to help with erosion control or something along those lines. But I don't know a ton about the retaining wall project, except that we didn't find any retaining wall grants. But maybe we were framing it wrong. Yeah, if you um, look at that more in uh, the um, light of a, a stream bank stabilization. And sewer line protection. And sewer line protection, yeah. Tim Crowley. Yeah. Again. Again, and again, again. Okay, I've got that written down. Um, I think that's my that's my menu. We've got a lot to work with, really. Yes. Um, I've got a lot to get back to you on. So um, that's all I've got. Do you have any more questions? Anything else you want to add to the list or um, you want me to ask about eligibility for? Just leave your email with Julie. Um, and, and this, what about, um, so we are, we did get a grant for evaluation, the um, um, energy evaluation of this building that we're mm -hmm. in here. What about um, grant monies for window replacement for energy efficiency? MTAP does not. Okay. Doesn't tap that direction. Like the, okay. Yeah, and I think that's more of a MERT. The municipal energy resilience that's yeah, that's program. Right. Okay. All right. Just um, in that parking lot. Yeah. I don't know if they were. Uh, is there money for repaving anything? Town owned? That's a read a question. MTAP okay. would be, you know, if you needed to move a road because a stream is moving into that area and there's flooding on that road, you know, if a road's getting washed out a lot and you need to move it. That would be climate change resilience and mitigation, which is an MTAP eligible project category. But just repaving like on a on your regular maintenance schedule, 
isn't end cap, but it'd yeah. be a read a question about the specifics of that project. That project. Right. Yep. Okay. Well. Thank you. Yeah, we appreciate your energy and, and help and um, finding us uh, support and something and we'll figure out something. We'll work you. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Well, Great. Um, well thank you. I'll be yeah. in touch. Okay. Thanks for coming out or tuning in, rather. Okay. Good night. So, next up. On the agenda, we've got a um, park use application from the Rochester Democrats. Um, the event uh, is called Goats for Votes. Um, <laughs> we plan to bring baby goats to the park and some signage to encourage people to go vote in the primary election. What's um, the date on that? The, March 5th. Yep, voting yep March 5th. Voting day. Voting so, day. Um, day after our town meeting. Voting day. Primary day. Are yeah. going to have them on leashes? We got a vote. I would think so, or maybe in a fence or something. That but day, I don't think they'll just let them loose on Route 100. Um, or on the park. <laughs> well, as long as they clean up after themselves. Yeah. Right. I mean, and they don't. If they let them out on the grass or whatever, they. Tear it up. They got to fix it. Yeah. That's all there is to it because it might be soft that time of year and it could it be might, snowy. It might have this much snow on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, it could snow. have a lot of snow. So, Who knows? Um, <laughs> but yeah, hey, it'll probably Martha will probably get us a picture in the paper snow. though. Huh? <laughs> yeah. All right, I move Jerry to move over. to approve. <laughs> okay, all in favor? All right. All right. Another permitting. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. this is Bring your saddle. Right around on the go. All right. <laughs> yeah. Next. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> All right. We got the uh, tax map. Ma <laughs> <laughs> tax mapping um, proposal for the town of Rochester contract um, for. April 1, 2024 to March 31st, 2025. Um, and this is CAI Technologies um, out of Littleton, New Hampshire. And um, here we go. This would be a first step towards um, adjusting our um, common CAI. level of appraisal. Yep. So um, God moved to approve that contract. How much is it? That's the same. It's what I brought to the budget and finance committee. Yeah, twenty one hundred dollars for the it map. It went out. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. It's all in the budget. No. Seventeen hundred and something. Yeah. It was. Oh. I don't remember exactly. The um, maintenance service is twenty one hundred and um, twenty dollars. Building added or changed. So if it's just um, straight up. Counting what's already there, if it's a new building or significant changes, another twenty bucks per building. Do we do a new set of maps every year? Because mm -hmm. now you can get them online. He, they do. They do all of the. They do the online portion too, right? Yeah. yeah. They do. They send everything to the state. Yep. It'd be nice we if kinda... we could think about doing it every other year, but I. It's probably more accurate to do it every year. With all the changes we've yeah. had. Yeah. You know, I probably give them like eight new surveys a year. I'm in it. I'm in that say. all the time. Mm -hmm. Looking things up. All right, so. I second it. All in favor. All right. Okay. Pulling the money out of us. Yeah, I hate when it goes up all the time. Well, this uh say la vie. Nobody is here from the library. Um, they're having a little bit of a respite on the roads. Yeah, we got the truck back. Um, and it's still the working? 550. 
Yeah, he took the other one up to the to uh, Clark's, or I guess it's Clark's. I don't may have changed your name. Uh, the red, the international, and that's getting the radiator work done on it. That's, he's been limping through all winter, so they're doing that. So he's taking that up tomorrow. And other than that, he's good. They got the Bethel Mountain finalized, so that's good. We don't have to plow that for them anymore, sure. uh, which was good. So other than that, he's just hoping we don't get a ton of snow. Mm -hmm. Got the mud plows out just in case, and uh, go from there. Yep. Get the mud plows out. Yeah. The rakes. No, oh. he's just got some plows that he uses in mud season. Oh, okay. They're set up a little differently, so they're instead of they using the grader. <laughs> they don't yeah. dig up quite so bad. Yeah. And they're not as hard on the trucks, I guess. Yep. yep. Terry, got anything to add tonight? Yeah. Uh, fire department's got one. Uh, the park house uh, for evacuation. We met, Kevin, Kristen and I met with uh, Ivan. Ian. Ian. <laughs> He's uh, very good about getting stuff around, that's for sure. But it used to be that the people would come out of there for a drill and go to the bean house, which is not really good and feasible because there's no room over there other than a hallway. Crossing Route 100. Uh, and you cross 100. Then yeah. we thought about Pierce Hall, which is still not good because you're crossing 100. Crossing 100, yeah. So we would like <clears throat> to have them come here. <clears throat> they would meet right there in front of the telephone building because I wouldn't have very many people coming from that way that quick and then get them over to here. And then we'd worry about it afterwards because this is always heated and you got a bathroom. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, they got about 16 right now there so you know you're gonna have 20 people here probably to take care of them and so we really need your permission to say that this is what we're gonna shoot towards and then we'll have a couple of drills did you talk with the emergency crew about that has that what they Who want emergency? to do what's that who are you talking about emergency like like uh michaela michaela and and they all have nothing to do with this when it, if for a fire. I know, but about if if no, this, this would be the, if we we're going to do it, this is what we're going to do. Okay, I just just I'm was the asking. I'm called to make the shot. Yeah, that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. And I, I don't just, want them on 100. Yeah, no, yeah, that's I fine. So, uh, and this is the safest so place. We have a key, but the firehouse has a key to this building as well. <clears throat> no, we do not. So that that would need to be arranged. Right. I mean, if Kristen's or, out, because Kristen's out of town. Or making arrangements with them or something. Yeah, that was part of the discussion that we wanted to have tonight. Like, A, would it be okay for us to do this? And then B, is there like a key that we could leave? Did you want to do in the fire truck or in the lockbox? I'd yourself? rather have it where she, he could have it at the park house would make more sense because he may be able to start getting people i mean he, he only lives at the hardware right now so i mean he's apt to be there before i could get anybody mm -hmm. to start even thinking about getting people over here he could already be moving them is he on the fire department too no no why wouldn't you Although have I one there and what you get one too we get kristen's got one so that's good enough wait why couldn't you just have one at the firehouse yeah. That would we want, most if you wanted, forget it, then somebody's got to go get it, and usually people aren't mm -hmm. thinking about that. And Ian yeah. would be able to haul them out of there and get them over here before we would right get away. trucks up there. Yeah. Really. So we wanted them to available. have access. Right. Correct, but I said we'd have another key. Kristen's got one. Mm -hmm. Worst comes to worst, I'll break the friggin' door. It's not that big a deal. I I'm mean, it really like, isn't. If you have yeah, a fire, yeah. and call me. Not everybody's available. Right. Dooms across the road. I yeah, mean, yeah. we send somebody to go get it. It's just yeah. that you can only have so many way. keys at the firehouse. <laughs> if you're going to do it, put a Knox box out here then. Mm. No, I, I don't like that idea. No, I don't not that it. it's up to me, but but we got so many damn keys in the fire truck, and I don't care how you label them. I can send ten guys there. They can't even find a flashlight, so there's no sense <laughs> telling them to go get a key. Oh my God, he makes us sound so For a certain thing. 
And to be in the trucks, you're going to be in the way. Yeah. Well, let's uh, so back up to the just using this building. I, I don't see any problem I don't see with any it. Problem it sits that's here. It's part of the reason why we put the generator on this building. Yeah, right. 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 For right. The, so for that we so shelter team. Let's say just need this is the emergency hub emergency. anyway yeah. during yeah. emergency. Right, and they wouldn't stay for that long. I mean, I'm sure you're going to find places to take them. Yeah. And we've got you know, chairs. But and you got phones here so, oh. you know, the guy can mm -hmm. use phone and mm -hmm. they can... And a you know, Wi-Fi. Yeah, in case the whole town goes out. <laughs> the door's open. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see yeah, any problem. I think that's a good plan. It's just a lot safer point than this. Yeah. 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 Good. Keep them off for okay, 100. So will we plan on a key in the knock box at the park house? Yeah. That's where okay. he's, or at least talk to him and let him. Mm -hmm. and that would I would say that would be the best spot because even we could get it then. Yeah, not the other. It's at the Knox box at the at the park house. We can get it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, whoever's That's there not can. Where the fire is. <laughs> yeah, right. Get the key. Yeah, I'm not. No, that, that's good. I just think this is much safer. I mean, you get the elevator so they can get up the stairs. Yeah. Because yeah. there is some that are going to be. The only thing we don't have is ADA bathroom. Right, but they'll have to hump up. <laughs> we'll, we'll work that out and get them somewhere else, you know, soon. Yeah. I mean, because, you know, like Firehouse is in a good spot because there's just too much going on. Yeah, no, you wouldn't want them in there. Well, it's better than the Bean House, Pierce Hall. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Be a little more accommodating, but I don't like the idea of them walking across Route 100. Especially no, that's with, all your trucks are coming from that yeah, way. Exactly. If, you're, if you're on fire over there, that that yeah, Route 100 yeah, is going to be just, busy anyway. You're going to have so, be so, on the back side. so much stuff and coming this way. And then be it's going to come out of the south after that, so there's no sense trying to go south either. Right, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yep. All right. So still good. using yeah. the church we had a really good meeting school. with him. I don't know what school's doing. We don't. I haven't had training with school and... Ten years, probably. Yeah, I haven't had. Since one. we criticize them on how to do it once, so you, we don't get invited anymore. Yeah. But All right. Invite us when they have and what do you got? What's that? Utilities. Well, I got some utilities I'd like to talk about in the executive session. Yep. You got it, Jeff. He is not here. Jeff's not here. How about um, grant updates, sir? Okay, I've got a couple. Um, our remaining 260000 was allocated and moved over the way that it should be. So as soon as we found that out, I submitted invoice two. On February 7th, they deposited 260000 into our checking, which has since been paid back to Mascoma towards the bridge. I signed off on the Jones Mountain FEMA. Um, the total there was 6755 6, um, we're expecting to get 5,066. I also signed off on townwide debris. Um, we had like a whole bunch of locations and they were able to put them into one. That was um, a total of 4,933. Um, right now, we're expecting that we'll get 3,699 of that. However, that is a Cat A um, category in the FEMA. And on the 9th, we heard that we may be getting 100% of that, so that's hopeful. And on the 9th, I submitted the FY25 Class 2 Roadway um, grant for Bethel Mountain with the help of Rita. And, that's oh, and you, you go do that every month for us, right? Yes. Okay. Big numbers. Yes. Thank you. I know. Yeah, yeah. 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 Really Keep it going. Okay, I'll try my best. <laughs> yeah. Thank that's you. what I do. <laughs> yeah. Great. Um, do you have any um, in the public on Zoom that wants to speak about anything? Our Zoom has dwindled. And in the room? Quiet. No. Um, and I thought just bringing up what West Hill Bridge Bond is because the, um, the ballots are going out and people don't understand and they've been calling. So maybe just kind of... Um, 
you know, stating why we're why we've gone to bond or you know, um, just get it out there, whether it's on the paper as well, for Martha. And I, I did do a timeline sort of to help. We with were approached by the U.S. Forest Service um, con conveniently after um, homeowners on West Hill Road had been asking for a bridge to be replaced because it didn't carry enough weight to bring in um, well dr drillers, concrete trucks, et cetera, the heavy equipment things. So they were not able to improve their homes. Um, but then the United States Forest Service came in and said that they have a plan to do a logging operation and they'd like to have used West Hill Road for access and uh, would, would we allow them to um, pay for the bridge? Um, we said, sure, sounds like a great deal. Um, and they had X dollars to, to contribute towards that. Um, COVID came along, things moved slowly. The, um, the project went out to bids. In the meantime, contractor prices went sky high. Um, so the project came in, they still stuck to what they were going to give us, but the, con the project came in about 35% higher than what they were giving us. So we weren't prepared to look a gift horse in the mouth um, and turn it away. So we, we bit the bullet and we proceeded with the project. And so now we do have an obligation of $359,000 that is borne upon the town, but um, it is only one third of what the project cost. So it still is a bargain for the town of Rochester and the residents on West Hill Road are happy and the Forest Service is happy. They're a very good neighbor, so we wanted to accommodate them. And that's why we are where we are, borrowing money for our portion of the bridge. Does that cover it? It covers it pretty good. Yep. The total project cost was $1,122,939. Be on the hook for 359 is, is not bad. We risk losing the 775,000 in funding that we had yeah. aligned already if we didn't do the project. So that was a, one of the main driving forces of doing the project was the fact that we could lose that much of the project, that 775,000 that we got for the project. Now, is the, the fact that there's a um, up to standard bridge at the bottom of that road going to increase the property values of those? And we're going through a 10 one assessment in the next couple of years. In a couple of years, so couple of years, we'll find out. It could be something we point out to them. Take yeah. note of the new bridge. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think it'll also come about by way of uh, the homeowners on that road have been, um, have had wish lists of things to do. So you might see you know, the properties improve. Yeah. Um, there is one large landowner that has been waiting to build their house mm -hmm. because of it. So yes, yeah. this, this will improve our tax base yeah. and bring in more tax dollars. Yep. All right. And the delays, there were so many delays, but there was so much that happened. I mean, the yeah, month after, was not our the, friend the month process. after we were approached for the, um, opportunity um, the April 15th storm hit that took out Bethel Mountain yeah mm -hmm. so we yeah. were pretty well running distracted and, over that way yeah yeah, yeah. all right um, if there's nothing else I will um, move to adjourn and move into executive session thank you I second do you second? Yeah. All right. All in favor? <laughs> Thank you. Right. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Good <laughs>